Meghan Markle was criticized after segments of her highly controversial Oprah Winfrey interview in 2021 was shown in her latest sit-down chat with Prince Harry for CBS. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex spoke on CBS's Sunday morning show with Jane Pauley and announced their latest project aimed at tackling child safety online and connecting families who have lost their children to suicide due to a lack of safeguarding online, the Parents Network, TPN. During the interview, segments of the Oprah interview were shown to the viewers, while Meghan talked about opening up on her own thoughts of self-harm during her time as a working member of the royal family. But a PR expert labeled the move risky as, while it could reignite interest in the couple's new project. She was also concerned for the Duchess' own well-being, as it also risks reopening old wounds and rekindling controversy, so she suggested the Duchess try a different approach. Renee Smith, founder and director of The Atticism, told Express.co.uk that bringing back the original Oprah interview, which is thought to have contributed to the Sussex's rift with the royals heavily, would most likely detract attention from the current initiative, TPN. She explained, revisiting segments of the Oprah interview is a risky move, and I certainly would not have advised it. While it can reignite interest and bring attention to their new project, it absolutely risks reopening old wounds and rekindling controversy. The original interview was polarizing, and reintroducing it will most likely detract from the current initiative by shifting the focus back to their criticisms of the royal family. In saying that, we all exist in echo chambers, and perhaps, she and Harry still believe the interview was a resounding success, in which case, they might think that showing it again only reaffirms that success. It's usually a good PR team's job to ensure this doesn't happen though. Moose Smith added that it's essential for Harry and Meghan to weigh the potential benefits of increased visibility against the possibility of negative backlash from a holistic viewpoint, considering the perception on a wide frame and suggested the pair introduce fresh content which will not underscore their efforts. She concluded, I think it would have been more prudent to introduce fresh, forward-looking content that underscores their current efforts and achievements without harking back to past controversies. According to the Archwell Foundation, Harry and Meghan's charitable organization, the charity and the new network will work to unite and uplift parents and caregivers and systematically change the social media platforms and devices that create a harmful and dangerous environment for young people around the world. During CBS's interview, Ms. Pauly compared the anti-bullying initiative and the Duchess' own struggles with suicidal ideation. Meghan said that by sharing her own experience, she hopes that it might save someone or encourage someone in their life to really, genuinely check in on them and not assume that the appearance is good. At the time of the Oprah interview, the Duchess was heaped with praise for being so open and honest about her experiences. Zoe Clues, a trauma and anxiety specialist at Harley Street, London, told Express.co.uk at the time, I'm always humbled by the bravery of anyone who's prepared to talk openly about their experiences, especially ones that are as negative as those Meghan has encountered.